Sotrafacula on Titan is the best case yet of a cryovolcano in the outer solar system. In fact, it appears to be two cryovolcanoes uh, separated by a low area uh, where we see some sand dunes. Here we see data from radar and the visible and infrared mapping spectrometer. This is false color to distinguish the different compositions of the surface. So the green areas are what we think are the volcanic areas, while the blues would be fields of sand dunes. Now we change the color scheme. The reds and yellows are highs, the blues are lows. When we got the topography, we see this tall mountain is about a thousand meters tall. When you have a tall mountain and a deep crater and a low bait flow-like feature coming out of it, then it's very likely to be a cryovolcano. On Earth, volcanoes are formed by molten rock or magma that when it comes out is called lava. On Titan and uh, uh, other icy bodies, such as uh, Saturn's moon Enceladus, we have cryovolcanism, that is, very cold volcanism. And uh, the uh, material inside these bodies, the, quote, magma, is not molten rock, is actually a watery mixture. It's water with probably ammonia and maybe uh, methanol and other things. Material is being brought from the interior of the moon or the planet uh, to the surface. This is important for a number of reasons, and uh, one of them is that if you still have heat, and enough heat to actually um, cause uh, cryovolcanism to occur, and if you have water, then uh, those are two of the ingredients that uh, you need for life.